So when he first got started, it was the standard years, and you know he was it was hey you're gonna go film with whoever Mike puts you with. He worked so hard that he he just shined through over and over and over again, and very quickly he became a hot commodity. Torstein became a part of Mount Lab 1.5, and that was really Mount Lab 1.5 was the immersion into filming with Devin and Ika, learning powder, learning backcountry. He learned a lot during those years. You know, what I'm real stoked about is, is the team right now and it, what, how it's put together. And every, every one of those characters are just, they make me laugh all the time. And, and going snowboarding with them, I learned so much from them. And like Devin, Ika, Lowry, Bittner, Chaz, I mean, those guys kill it all the time. And uh, I couldn't ask for, for a better position right now to be in. And I'm just learning so much and it's awesome. I mean, I remember giving him his ring, which is a big rite of passage at DC when you get your diamond DC ring. And Torstein got his ring, and I mean, he, he cried. He cried joining the family, like his, the emotions just poured out. Like he was like, I made it. I've worked so hard for so long, and now I, I made it. And I was like, no, you had already made it. <laughs> this is just a detail. This is like a little, a little punctuation mark. You have made it, my friend. Let's talk about the DC Mountain Lab shoot in New Zealand because that was a pretty crazy experience for everybody. Torstein being young and having that be one of his first photo video shoots, um, I can't even believe what would have been going through his head. We went over to New Zealand where I met Ken for the first time. Well, when he rolled up, he was like, all right, I'm, I'm th I think I want to do that jump, that bottom jump. It looks mellow, it's, it's, it's cool. I know the speed for that. I, I think I'm going to do that. And I'm like. All right, <laughs> cool, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> it escalated into something a little more than that. Well, for me, it was more of just sort of a, an adventure in trying to have fun with, you know, my experiences of snowboarding along with, uh, you know, what I was trying to do with uh, rally cars. So it really kind of was just a fun, creative idea that Pierre and I worked on. We were able to make some great content, you know, with. Todd Richards, Eddie Wall, Torstein, uh, and the whole crew. And it was a lot of fun, more fun than I expected. Ken was like, we should go to New Zealand and shoot some stuff. I have a rally car there anyway. Maybe we can incorporate that. So then we did, and then we just winged it at Snow Park, New Zealand. And uh, in New Zealand, a rally car on the slope during a normal day, it's just, they don't even, they barely roped off the thing. Can I just jump out? And he said, I think I can hit hit it with a car. And then Eddie, Wall, Torstein, and uh, Ken hit it a couple times. And Ken's like, yeah, you want to hit it with me? And Eddie's like, yeah, I'll hit it with you. Ken decided that he wanted to hit the last jump in the park, which was the biggest feature on the mountain. It was in the park and the park was open. There were people like snowboarding around. That's actually pretty crazy. This wasn't necessarily even like a private park shoot. I remember before we took off, something I will never forget is Todd Richards said something to me, not real crazy, but he was just like, Eddie, be fucking careful, dude. Like this is, it's an automobile. If Ken lands and that steering wheel hits the snow and he freaking goes. I was like telling Eddie, I'm like, dude, you need to be, you need to give Ken some room. You need to have an exit plan. Like when you land, you need to be getting the hell. And I was fully looking at this, like it, it was kind of a joke until we were sitting up there and Eddie's like, I'm gonna hit it with Ken. We're gonna drop in at the same time and hit this jump. And then I went full dad mode. That just like, I was like, whoa, that's a, that's when it kind of dawned on me, like, okay, this is actually a pretty scary stunt because a lot of things can go wrong. Um, I thought the kicker was too narrow and too small, but it actually worked out well. And I tried to stay a bit to the side and drift a bit to, to clear him, but it ended up being pretty close and looking really good and, and uh, just an amazing feeling landing at that landing at the same time as Ken did. But we have to give Eddie credit where credit's due. Eddie was the guinea pig with the automobile flying through the air. Thorstein wasn't afraid to like do a frontside seven tail grab. To me, a lot of things can go wrong on a frontside seven tail grab. But then he had one shot. But like, who might like question the talent? 
there's a reason why I chose him to go next to the car and that's what became like a pretty iconic cover in my opinion. I can't even imagine what it's like jumping, spinning and like seeing a car twice before you land and yeah it's just so many things could have gone wrong. In New Zealand they don't have rules it's just recommendations. Then when you land you hear that boom you know with the car and you think it's you and in the air you hear that brum, 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 the motor you know going and you know, all those horsepower just flying through the air it was it was just crazy i believe everybody who was there thought the same thing like the dc team at that point was this really tight unit we had already done uh the mountain lab so it was like you know we were filming at the house um together all season long and then, you know, this new kid comes in and he kind of came in hot. And, and he was a Grom. I think he was like 17, maybe 18, maybe. And he was just this kid that we didn't know. So he got the, we don't know you hazing. Ika got it, Lowry got it, like everyone got it. You know, everyone got the, the hazing. It was just because, you know, we were, we were the older crew. And it was, it was just fun, it was just part of, the, part of the thing. But I mean, Torstein, like I said, he came out swinging and basically proved to all of us like that, hi, I'm here, I'm not freaking going anywhere and I am one of the gnarliest jumpers you will ever see in your life. 